What is going on guys? Double R here back again today with another video. Today we are gonna get our first ever reaction video with the supercharged Q50. It's gonna be with a good friend of mine. It's his kid. He wants to get into a fast car so hopefully this is one of the fastest cars he's ever been in. We'll ask him. We'll see what he thinks but hopefully this is fun. If you guys are new to the channel please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us with these builds. We just had a 240 that we just crashed in the last video. We have this 350Z that I just gave to my girlfriend. Obviously we have the supercharged q50 and we have a 350z that now is replacing the 240 for drifting if that sounds interesting to you guys make sure to subscribe to this channel follow this build and enjoy this video hey you get it What's the what's the fastest car you ever been in? Probably the green, the green Mustang. Who's green Mustang? My dad. It's a 5.0 with a manual or a 10 speed? Uh, it's a manual. It's a manual. And that's got to be the fastest car I've driven at this point. What about like ridden in? That car. Alright, so hopefully this is faster than your dad's car. <laughs> oh, I bet it is. I'm pretty sure it is. 16 pounds, he said that this thing runs. Uh, we'll see what it runs today. 16 pounds on a good day, when it's happy. Once you, once you get into building cars, it's all about just whether or not the car's happy. Yeah. But we'll get to a nice, safe little space for you. I can't see shit. I also just got new tires too, so. You're an excuse on how I'm gonna test these out. What sucks is I can't do a burnout in this E85 map. Because I have it set only for pump gas. But I think I can warm the tires up. I think that was 16 oh, pounds. Don't worry about whatever. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's safe. Go. That thing is falling so many times. God, this thing gets it. These tires feel good. Oh, Faster than your dad's car? Oh. For sure. <laughs> for sure. What's up, dude? Yeah, bro. This is what I do all day. Oh, this and the Z and drifting. Yeah. Look at that cool ass kid in his Prius. Jamming out. I didn't know school was open today. <laughs> they were laughing. That was a good one.
might be my under tray. Yeah, we'll pull it to the side real quick. It's nothing serious. It's not like a real quick. Uh, it's, it sounded like just a little plastic. Thing. Yeah, I think so. Gets the power to the to the it ground. Does. Oh, with like, these new wheels, I got 305s on now. They're Toyo R Triple Eights. They're a little loud, and sometimes you could hear it. Um, like tires just loud sometimes. This is the road I wanted to bring you on. This road? Yeah. This, this is road's where, insane. This is where I used to go racing at, but they shut it down a while ago. I used to always. This is where I first started like YouTube. Is this road right here with this car? And I'll show you exactly where we used to park too. Oh my god, I, I literally I do the same stuff. Yeah, we would show right here. We'll see how this car digs. Right here. This little one? Yeah, so we would all park up. People who wouldn't race would go in the back, or if you were really, 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 really fast go in the back because we wanted to hide your car but then people would park up here you see how many people do donuts like it's, it's insane 
so we're gonna hit a dig. Like, it doesn't like to do a burnout in this map. You! Faster than your dad's car? Oh, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess he enjoyed the ride, but we had a small leak, which I guess I have to fix. But it is what it is. It was definitely worth it for his reaction. Definitely faster than his dad's car, which makes me a lot happier, so. <laughs> I should have checked on the car before we left, but we have coolant on the floor. Obviously, we're still having coolant leaks with the Q50 for some reason. So now after changing all the hoses, changing the thermostat, the only, only thing I can think of is either the water pump or head lift, which both I think you have to take the engine out to be able to replace. Also, I wanted to spend some time on Ali's 350 and my 350 to make sure that they're gonna be able to get going and driving on the road together. That way I can kind of put the Q50 and the 240 to the side to be able to work on and not really have to worry about rushing so that way I could drive it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, make sure to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends, guys. Make sure to look out for the next video with one of these builds being featured in it. I'm not sure which one it is. It's always something different. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Double R and I'm out.